What do we have here? What do we have here? Yesterday we received a new toy, the battery doctor got a new toy. Let's hope it's not a complete piece of crap. It should be a professional level battery capacity tester. Oh, and of course this sent some kind of shitty UK plug, but we have good ones. And USB connection, I hope this will run without that. Yes, to start testing and they have DX3-16 and these massive jumper cables. And we have some kind of read unreadable packing list, mostly in Chinese and a model name and a manual. And what languages do you think this, this manual will be in? Do you think it will be in Swedish? Do you think it will be in English? No, it will be in Chinese gibberish. Yay! Yay! Some words in English, so hopefully <laughs> the actual product will be in English. This one has dual wire, one for checking the voltage and one for actually testing. Let's see if it powers up. No, it doesn't power up. It doesn't power up. Let's see what we have here. Can you change the amperage? No, it just has one knob that you can click and twist, click and twist, click and twist. So let's hook it up to a battery and I'm sure there's gonna be a spark. Oh, it's so massive it won't even connect to this tiny little cable. Can you please hold on? This is all about 11.8. No, it has inrush current protection. Great, so I do not have, have to add an on-off switch. Okay, it's reading 11.87 volts and it says zero amps and off. Does it do anything? Maybe we should check the manual. Hmm, good luck with that. Shit. Now it's only am one amp. It sounded like a fucking jet engine starting. Ha ha ha. The on-off uh, was not, the on-off is actually start and stop. You can see I'm discharging at one amp and it's already sounding like a vacuum cleaner and this one should uh, be able to pull 20 amps on this poor little 10 year old lead acid cell. This battery tester is for 12 volts up to 72 volts. I actually had a smaller battery tester like this before but I didn't have time to set it up when I was trying to look for it now, a year later, it has disappeared. The motherfucker is hiding somewhere. I looked everywhere for this little battery tester. But it's hiding. It's... It's somewhere. I can sense it. But I, di I didn't want to look anymore, so I bought this um, really, really big tester from China to be able to test battery packs a little bit faster. I have other testers, but I usually just run them on one or two amps. I do wanna test battery packs at higher amps, so this is a good investment, but I didn't know it would be so fucking noisy. It has dual fans, and I don't know what the load is. It's prob probably resistors or a heating element. Manufacturing date and here you have the website if you want to buy them yourself But you can't buy them from the actual website because they don't answer your fucking email to a manufacturer and They have better things to do so you will have to find a reseller for this. Oh, it has four fans This one actually feels like an air conditioning unit, so it has multiple purposes now how long do you think you can run this poor little lead acid battery? It's down to less than 11, so I think I'm gonna leave this one on and see what it says. Well, you should not put a lead acid battery for long at your capacity tester because lead acid batteries do not have a low voltage protection. I don't know where this machine decides to cut off. It was supposed to be between 12 and 72 volts. So I don't know if it's gonna drain this battery down to zero volts or if it's gonna stop at 10. Hopefully it will stop at 10. And as always, 
when playing around with the batteries, especially old ones, you can feel on them so that it doesn't excrete that amount of heat. But it's been running for 23 minutes and it still hasn't dropped more than 2 volts. So this battery can surely handle 1 amp discharge. Let's play around a little with the nozzle here. Can we go even higher? Probably not. Maybe you can only do that with the computer. Doesn't have a touch screen. Twist it. No, let's turn it off. I said off. Off. Long press. Oh, it decided to go up all the way to 11.42. <laughs> it really doesn't seem and that you can do now I'm holding it in and I can do some settings 1 amp to 9 volts that was actually the first step let's see if we can change and if no we are gonna change this one to 3 amps and this one to no, 80, no, 10 volts. What is this discharging? It's uh, maybe the number, the name we want to give it. It can be 0, 1. Let's hold again. And let's see if we have 3 amps. We have 3 amps, no? We have 0 amps. Because it immediately went down under. 10 volts yeah it went down to 8 if you saw that so yes we're gonna modify step one and even if it went down to 9 volts it would stop so let's try 2 amps back holding it in yes and on two amps 80 millis drop down between 10 so I think I will have a pretty nice time testing batteries out on this battery capacity tester but why doesn't the fan turns off when you're not using anything maybe it has a cooling down period so I will just leave it on for a while and yes we lost fan spin after about 30 seconds or one minute or so so the fans will turn off